But we do need to get some public transport going in order to actually get people to the train stations in order to be able to transport them properly and actually make some money off these lines as well. Because in the end we've already kind of killed off half our budget with this expansion. So that is quite crazy. Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on the Transport Fever 2 campaign with me, Spacefish, and welcome to beautiful and marvellous Shanghai for our last mission of the entire campaign series on Transport Fever 2. We've already started out a bit in the last episode actually getting some train stations going according to one of our targets for the mission, but now today we are coming back to actually get trains into operation and transport a set of passengers for the train before moving on to more tasks and potentially also our third first rather side tasks now the thing is that we do need to bring 12 trains into operation here and even with all these cities that we do already have connected and the double train lines that i've set up we're not going to get 12 so we're probably going to need another train station another bit of connections to actually match that goal so we're going to work on that and more today but just quickly before we get started if you're new around here and if you do happen to enjoy this episode please make sure to smash that subscribe button right down below that would mean the absolute world to me we're currently well on our way to 1000 subscribers and every single person truly does help out a ton with that all out of the way though let's go and get going maybe even on the train stations now i've kind of looked around and i think our only real option is to get a train station going out in nantong because well, I mean, if you look, we've got, like, eight trains that we can possibly bring into operation here. Two between these cities, two here, two there, and two there. And, um, well, we need another four. So the only real option is to have Nantong, maybe get, like, a connection going from Vuji to Nantong. Uh, well, with two train lines, evidently, of course. And then get a connection going from Shanghai to Nantong. And that way we can get the required amount of trains going. So uh, let's get started on that one, building the actual passenger station and then we will see just uh, how we can in the end here also get things connected because i think some of these train stations may require some more let's let's do a terminus some of these train lines may uh in well no not train lines some of these train stations may require in the end another set of terminals so we can actually even get that connection going Shanghai does seem to be good, so, you know, that's a start, but uh, Vuji here, as you can see, kind of a bit small and kind of also a bit close to the buildings, unfortunately, on the side that we do need the train lines on, but I guess, well, that is what it is, we're just going to have to work with it like that, and some buildings will have to go here. In the end, that is going to be the way that that is going to have to work out, so... Uh, first things first, let's go and expand all of that, and let's go and set up a set of passenger platforms all along there too, so we can make that a terminal. And we will of course make sure to get underpasses going, well, only out to there, just because I guess that's the way that works. We'll make sure to put underpasses there too, why not, just make it a bit easier for the passengers in the end. Boop, boop, boop. Beautiful. Maybe it's nice to actually not have... Well, I mean, there's underpasses here. We do still have benches. I think it's fine. Anyways, um, special platform roof. Fancy. Oh, look at that. Even comes with glass, apparently. That's quite cool. I do wonder. If you remove this, if you put this here and that there. Look at that. Is that not cool? I love that. Well, anyways, I mean, we we will maybe use that stylish element. Stay, uh, well, you know, that, that we will maybe use that when we actually get to building our own train stations in modern times in our free play gameplay. For here, I think this is uh, very much sufficient. Honestly, didn't even need that to start out with, but may as well make things somewhat nice and pretty and usable for the NPCs and then we go and actually work on this now. So, uh, let's go and, you know, try and not do something like that. That would really be quite ugly indeed. Uh, can I somehow? Yes. I mean, that's fine, I would say. It's not ideal in terms of speeds here, of course, but I don't think there's much we can do. 
We well, may as well just have a very low speed here when the train like exits the train station anyways, just then it isn't all that fast and then have a nice and high speed across the board here. Of course, what we need to do is we do need to make that a proper cable bridge so that the train can go at ample speeds and then we go and pull this thing all the way back basically. Same deal, should just mirror the bridge. It does indeed. Just double checking and uh, then we're good to go on that. So, that's the first connection set up. Now, uh, what we will sort of kind of do is if we can, ideally, we will, yes, have some train crossings on the bridge here in the very end, which makes this bridge actually have a very interesting look, to be honest. It's like cables on the mainland, but nothing on the actual bridge. Quite interesting indeed, but okay, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, I think the, the main important factor here is that we do have those uh, crossings here in the railway so that the trains can kind of sort of evade each other if necessary. And then we will go and plonk down just the Thomas signals, really, uh, so that trains have some alternatives as to where they move, where they intersect paths in the end. And then we go like that. So, one, two, and three, four. Cool. That's that pretty much set up, I would say. We can move on then with the connection between Nantong and Shanghai. So, as previously said, we do already have going here what we need. So, that is quite nice indeed. Now, this here makes me wonder, maybe can just kind of make this parallel here for the time being more or less so we can keep this going at a rather high speed in the end we can probably also pull this across here I mean we've got honestly we've got a billion right so I would hope that our financials can take the brunt of like putting two bridges there so uh, we'll do that we will make that a cable street bridge again and pull that through that keeps us nicely at 300 kilometers an hour we'll go and make that a proper bridge too which uh, evidently there's a collision so that's not great oh boy okay that may end up being an issue for the other bridge to be honest but worst case honestly we'll just go and terraform then we'll slow down the train a bit here we'll do it early of course so the speed stay Oh, somewhat high, right? And then I would really like to make this parallel, just like that. Pull that all the way along here. Maybe up to there. And then we kind of have to split it out, of course, right there. So, that's that. Now we will do a parallel train line to this one. Pull that all the way back. Did I go for the right side here? I just had a weird feeling there as if I hadn't changed things around, but I did, just like I remembered. So, let's see if this works. No collision. That's good to see. Very, very good to see indeed. We'll go and pull that railway all the way through here as well. And make sure it's nicely connect that up. Beautiful. So, same deal for this thing. We'll uh, go and make the uh, relevant crossings in the railway. Too much curvature still and put the appropriate signals down as well of course to make sure the trains don't get stuck when they intersect with each other and maybe we'll do like a middle ground here where they can also evade each other just because it's a very very long train line and you know maybe they need that as an extra point i don't really know i mean like given the huge distance and the slow down in the middle i'm just not really sure where they're gonna meet each other so if they do need to evade each other here for whatever reason which you know hopefully they won't because they intelligently choose the right train um well the right side of the railway but if they do happen to meet each other there they at least have some option to evade each other. now i'm gonna go and build the second part of that right there 
because honestly, otherwise I, I think it honestly looks weird without the cables in the middle. It doesn't make sense to just have the cables right there. So we'll do that and we will go and build the train signals right there and right here. Cool. So that's that set up. That's this set up and that set up all beautiful. Now, what we will need is going to be some train depots and we'll build a few, you know, not to kind of, you know, undersupply ourselves with those again. Like, you, you all know I like to kind of save a bit on that, but we shouldn't overdo things there. Um, I will even, to be honest, I was thinking to, you know, save out on those, buy trains here, let them drive to over there, buy another set when they're kind of out of this path, honestly. It's fine. We've got a hundred, well, not a hundred billion. We've got one billion dollars, apparently. And uh, I would say we don't need to worry that much about that money. So let's go do things the proper way and just buy a train depot for more or less every line. And then we're set. Cool. So. That'll all have to be connected up first things first, then we'll actually get to making the lines. Which, you know, I should have probably actually connected that one differently. Eh, we will do something like that. Maybe, no, something like that. Cool, whatever, that works. Anyways, um, next time we'll try and do things proper way. By actually having things connected like that and then having things connected like that. That makes a bit more sense to me in the very end. Then we've got this one which needs to actually be connected to four railways. So we'll be connected to this. Uh, to that. Why and now we run into a few issues with this but in the end what we can do here. Just have another fork coming off that. Pull this out nice and straight. Why not? It's not like we really need to. But in my opinion, it just looks better in the end. And that connects all that up for us too. Cool. And then we do this. So, one. And the two. And this will be the very last one for us to take care of. So same deal, one and two. Beautiful. That is all that done. All the train depots done, all the stations done, all the railways done, all the connections done. Now it is time to actually make lines. So uh, as in the last campaign mission, we'll kind of just stop the line naming convention in the campaign missions, I think. Um, we've got way too much to do already with that in free mode to, to keep track of things over here with how short the missions are. I don't think we'll run into much of an issue of losing track, especially since we do have the colors after all. We can kind of still match things to each other. So, uh, line one, line two, line three is going to be here. Line four, we can maybe also still do from Shanghai, which is going to be to Nantong. Then we've got uh, Suju to Vuji. And I'm missing one, yes, Vuji to Nantong. I was going to say. How are we only at five lines when we want 12 trains? There we go. That is what we actually want. So, we will go and buy vehicles here first. And look at our beautiful selection. Uh, and there does not seem to be anything high speed yet, which is intriguing to say the least. I think we'll try and just go as fast as possible for now. So, this maybe? Well, we can do a mix of these. Maybe we can do a mix of all these, to be honest. We've got some... I mean, this one's too slow, honestly. Let's cross that one out. But we've got a diesel here. We've got uh, two electrics here. Let us go. We've got short connections here between Fuji and Suzu and Hangzhou and... Uh, don't want to butcher that name. Still don't know how to pronounce it. If you know, let me know down below. Would appreciate it a ton. But, um... So for these short lines, I think we can do like the 120 kilometers an hour diesel up here, the 120 kilometers electric up here, and the rest we'll do with 170 kilometer an hour electric, and that way we can just check out all the vehicles, because why in the world not? So, we'll configure a vehicle right here. Uh, we will 
maybe just pick this wagon type. I mean, for all the others, I would grab that one because it has more capacity. But, you know, just to check things out, I guess we can get that one. And we'll get, like, say 154 capacity. It's 23 mil. Very, very doable for us. And we will go and send that one out on line one. So, uh, before we go and buy any others, let's go and check that train out, because that's what we are all here for, after all. Checking out all the cool trains in this game and how beautiful they look, and, you know, while we've already bought them, and we've, we've bought this one for a purpose, of course, to check it out, why in the world not have a bit of a look? So, that's going to be our very first train in this campaign mission. Waiting for the choo-choo. That guy very much looks like... There's the choo-choo eight. This guy, though, very much looks like he's working for um, the German... Uh, well, in Germany, we call it Bundeswehr. It's like the state... Um, well, the ex-state company. That's like the main train provider. He literally looks like he's working from them. That's literally their uniform. This guy's not from... <laughs> this guy's not from Shanghai at all. But hey... There's our first train. Looks quite cool. These are the cars associated. Very, very beautiful indeed as well. And uh, let's move on to the next one. So, I mean, there's going to be another one chucking out of there, evidently. I hope... Well, I guess once this guy gets to here, he's going to just chuck out there. Let's double check that, that actually works before we move on to the other ones. It's train after train after train gets stuck. Evidently, it seems to work. He's still taking that train line, so that's beautiful. <laughs> Let's make sure that they actually evade each other, but this one is waiting here, and he's got a train crossing there, so it should be fine. You know what I forgot about? I forgot about the fact that they technically have to belong to different lines to have different terminals that they can go to, because both of them are trying to go to this one. So, what I guess we can do is we just do a second line between these cities. And that way we've kind of got different terminals for the same line and they don't intersect with each other. That is something that I should have actually thought about. I guess like with one line, the better way to do it is to have some sort of section in the middle where they can evade each other. This way, kind of of course not the way you want to go. So, uh, we'll, we'll just do things like that because I think that's the easy way to solve the lockup now. So... This should be, I guess, train two. We'll go and move him to line seven. Which should, in turn, mean... That he's not going to do anything. Which is beautiful. Um, maybe he is going to do something, actually. When I actually get time playing. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Who would have thought that would be the solution to that very, very complex issue? Okay, cool. So that's the way that we have to actually get things going here. Let's go and already create a new line for these two. And, of course, they do run to the same final terminal, which is also a bit of an issue. But uh, I'm sure we can resolve that very issue by uh, going to here and making sure... Oh, God, which one is which? Uh... So, brown should be on terminal... Where are the terminal numbers? I only see two. Where's one? Brown should be on the other terminal, basically. Uh, no, that was the wrong button. Brown should be on terminal one. Right? That's terminal one. No, now I messed things up even more. Oh my god, okay, wait a second. Let me configure this properly. So, brown should be on terminal two, red should be on terminal one. Then, we do have these two, for which, uh... Green should be on terminal two, I think. Should it? Green should be on terminal two, yes. So, if we look at that now... Beautiful. That makes a whole lot more sense, I would argue. So, um, let's go on to the next one. Right here, then, we will have our first proper high-speed one. Well, proper and high-speed. 170 kilometers an hour is kind of, you know, remains to be defined a bit. But, um, 
that one was the 120 km, uh, 170 kilometers an hour one. We'll grab that, and we will grab this beautiful Type 25C carriage. Get two of them, of course, and we will assign one of them to the yellow line. That took a while, and the other one of them to the green line. Beautiful. That is both of them assigned. Let's go and check out our very fancy new toys before we move on to the other stuff. That brings the total to four trains deployed now. Um, both of these trains that we saw thus far, I have to say, very much remind me of German trains. Uh, maybe they are built in collaboration with some uh, train manufacturer that, like, the Germans get their trains from as well or something? I don't really know. Is there going to be a honk? Come on. No honk? Come on. I feel betrayed. Okay, so this train absolutely sucks because there's no honk. <laughs> Otherwise, I go with the train carts. I have to say, from an like optics perspective, I think, well, I thought the other ones were... Uh, a bit more good looking, but hey. Oh, look at the... Did you hear the squealing now, the sound the cartwheels made when they actually were driving at a rather fast pace? Beautiful. I haven't noticed that one before in game yet. But yeah, there goes the other train. Both of them good to go. Both of them starting to roll out, and both of them hopefully starting to transport passengers soon. Now, we have not transported a single passenger yet by train, which is very interesting. Probably also due to the fact that we don't have any sort of public transport going to these train stations yet so that's something that we'll have to tackle in the very near future but before we do that let's go and actually get all those trains out there and then we can take care of the rest so shanghai then we will first things first get another line going to suzhou which uh, you can already see the terminals are being assigned properly here but not over there so blue should be i guess terminal one and light green should be terminal two which we fix like this i hope Indeed. So, that's good to go. Then, we... I think we'll just do all the lines through real quick. We'll go and do another line from Vuji to uh, Suzhou, which uh, is properly connected this time around, surprisingly enough. So, that is beautiful. Then, we will do another line from Vuji to uh, whatever this was, Nantong. That is properly connected on both sides. No, not on both sides. Don't mind me. Uh, the orange line will have to... No, not the orange. The pink line. The pink line will have to swap terminals to... I guess Terminal 3 it would be. Let's double check that. Beautiful. Also fixed. And then we do have Nantong to Shanghai. Well, Shanghai there, I guess. And that one does have to be changed in Shanghai. I don't think it has to be changed here, indeed. Um... But here, we have to change things to whatever the empty terminal is, I guess. So this one goes to terminal 5. And we should be good to go. Indeed we are. Okay, cool. So, now we must buy some trains. First things first, we will go here. Uh, this train we already know, so we're not going to explicitly check it out, I guess. Um... That is the wrong way, though. We will go and go for another 138 capacity. Now, we have that high-speed line to Dangtong. We have that other line to whatever else city. So, we'll buy four. We will go and get one going on the blue line. One going on that orange line. One going on the light green line. And another one going on the dark blue line. Cool. That is those assigned. To now, the interesting ones remaining, well, the interesting one remaining that we haven't set just yet, will be, yeah, I think we'll have a faster speed train here, but we'll be uh, Suju Fuji, so let's go and get that going too. China Railways HXD3B is going to be our train of choice for that very operation. We'll go and uh, have the faster train carts here going. Actually, we don't really need them that much, so we may as well save a few bucks, given that I've already managed to somehow spend 280 million. So, you know, that's a, just a very, very small amount right there, I guess. Um, we'll do 132 capacity. I think that's totally fine, given the short distance as well. And we'll go and buy two of this very train. One of them will go on that line. 
and the other one on the purple line. Beautiful. Let's go and check that one out as well. That is the last train then in our mix. Very, very distinct one from the others, to be honest, I feel. Um, I like the look, honestly. I have to say I like the look. It's, of course, not the most modern one. Especially given that it's not the fastest one, that kind of makes sense. I guess we all kind of didn't expect him to be like the ultra-modern high-speed train. But overall, cool look. It does have horns. It's not using them. So, um, absolutely hating this train. Trash train. <laughs> oh, I'm missing my good old train horns. There you hear the squealing again. You hear it? The squealing from the train carts. I like that they aren't guarded that. But okay. All those trains are going to go and get going. We're going to go pause time again. Because of course we would otherwise not make any money without the public transport. And we will go and get the last set going. So this one right here we will once more make the high speed tra trains travel. We'll get uh, 138 capacity by two of them. Get one of them assigned to the pink line. And get the other assigned to that orange line and that should be that as you can see all the trains brought into operation absolutely beautiful now the only thing that I think remains is to get some public uh, public transport going in all these cities uh, just just rather rough setup but we do need to get some public transport going in order to actually get people to the train stations in order to be able to transport them properly and actually make some money off these lines as well because in the end we've already kind of killed off half our budget with this expansion so that is quite crazy we definitely definitely need to work on that but that all and more we will do then in the next episode for today this has been it i hope you all very much enjoyed it of course if you did please make sure to hit that like button right down below for the youtube algorithm and if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet also please consider subscribing right down below as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes but with all that out of the way then as usual everybody thank you so much for watching and i hope i will catch you in the next one very very soon ciao